assalamu alaikum dear students how are you people i hope you are all fine um, in previous lecture actually i discussed the description of speech sounds but this lecture is entirely dedicated to vowels so what are we going to study today vowels front vowels central vowels back vowels closed vowels open vowels diphthongs very important and then the description of diphthongs as well so first of all please subscribe to my channel learn english with zz z and like and share so what are vowels how are you going to define vowels vowels may be defined with an open approximation without any obstruction partial or complete they are referred to as vocoids in phonetics so we say that when a sound of vowels is produced then the air is not at all interrupted there is no obstruction the air passes easily that is why the sound produced is called vowel sound all right they can be described in terms of three variables height of the tongue part of the tongue which is raised or lowered lip rounding vocoids are normally classified according to these three criteria number 1 height of the tongue whether it is high low mid close or half open or completely open tongue advancement whether the tongue is at the front back or central position lip rounding whether the lips are rounded or are unrounded i hope it is easy for you people so front vowels during the production of which the front of the tongue is raised towards the hard palate second back wall during the production of which the back of the tongue is raised towards the soft palate central wall during the production of which the central part of the tongue is raised now come towards the closed wall and open wall closed wall what is a closed wall A closed vowel is one for which the tongue is close to the roof of the mouth as possible as in the word zoo an open vowel is one which is produced with the tongue as low as possible and the jaws are wide open for example as in hot and card let's move on to the next slide yes my favorite this song now Vowel sounds are of two types. Some of them are monophthongs and the other are diphthongs. Monophthongs are actually pure vowels and diphthongs are gliding vowels. So this is the main difference between the two and you have to be able to differentiate between monophthongs and diphthongs. A vowel does not change in quality may be called a monophthong. and a vowel sound with a continually changing quality may be a diphthong a pure vowel is one for which the organs of speech remain in a given position for an appreciable period of time a diphthong is a vowel sound consisting of a deliberate means intentional glide the organs of speech starting in the position of one vowel and immediately moving in the direction of another vowel A diphthong always occupies one syllable. If two adjacent vowels form the nuclei of two successive syllables, then they are not a diphthong, as in boy and by. Actually, I was uh, going through my books, um, which I studied for myself. so this is what i found this information is very good and i hope it will help you people so i added this picture okay 
English word by can be described as a glide or movement from front open unrounded to front half close unrounded. The description of the diphthongs are given below. So, O oh, in both close closing diphthong, beginning at the central position, below half close and moving in the direction of O. The lips are neutral in the beginning and rounded towards the end. A. As in pay. Closing diphthong beginning at a slightly below half closed position and moving towards I. The lips are spread. I. As in by. Closing diphthong glides from the front open position towards I. The lips change from a neutral to a loosely spread position. Oi, as in boy. Closing diphthong. The glide begins near the back, half open position and moves in the direction of I. The lips are open rounded at the beginning and neutral at the end. O, as in how. Closing diphthong. Gliding from A towards O, the lips are neutral in the beginning and weakly rounded in the end. Air. As in pair, centering diphthong, the glide to, begins at I and moves towards A. The lips are neutral. Air, as in air, centering diphthong, the glide begins between the half closed and half open position and moves towards A. The lips are neutral. Or, as in par, the centering diphthong, the gliding begins at O and moves towards us. The lips are weakly rounded at the beginning and neutral at the end. So if you read it again and again, then I hope it will be clear to you. Phonetics and phonology is, you know, it's a technical subject. It's more like scientific. It's different from literature. Linguistics, phonetics and phonology, stylistics, they're all science. And you have to understand it quite uh, in a precise manner. You have to take a keen interest in these subjects so that you will have a proper command on them. So stay tuned, watch more videos and pray for your teacher. I am your teacher. So learn English with ZZZ. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much. Khuda Hafiz.